13 verse 10. You, who contemplate on what to do in order to please the Lord, know, love of one another is the answer. Do not bother about how to serve God, but love one another. All other commandments are of the flesh, and cannot take you to anywhere spiritually. Only love can give you eternal life in God's kingdom. You have also heard, whoever has love dwells in the light, and there is no cause of stumbling in him. 1 John chapter 2 verse 10. Whoever hates his brother abides in death. Love does not require wisdom in order to thrive. This is, because once you love someone, you cannot lie to him, steal his things or do anything that will hurt him. The major problem of the world is how to identify God, a being which everybody has agreed, no one has ever seen. Now, if no person has ever seen him, when he arrives, how will one identify him? When the being would say, look, I am the God you have been seeking, you will not believe, because you have never seen him. In the same token, love is what no human being has ever possessed. That explains why fake love abounds, and why man has accepted this fake love, as being genuine. People regard man, tree, and other creatures as God. This is false. Man equally regards money, house, clothes and other mundane things, as love. He has erred. Love does not seek after any mundane wealth, and does not harm any person. If any person says, he or she loves you, but abuses you, he is a liar. He has no love, for you. If any person professes to love you, and disgraces you always and does not allow you to air your views, such a person does not possess love. If we had loved our Lord Jesus Christ, we would have loved our brethren, for this was a supreme instruction from the Father, that whosoever loves God must love his brethren also. If you see any person who loves everybody, and does not get annoyed, neither does he impute sin on others, rather rejoices with everyone, such a person loves God very much. Anger, lamentation, flogging, sighing, and murmuring are all acts of sin. So any person found indulging in these vices does not possess love. If you go to somebody's house and found him frowning or sighing, you will conclude that something is wrong. It is said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. If then you start lamenting, you are poor, does it mean you love Christ? He said, Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, rejoice, and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 11. If you are falsely accused because of him, and you are not happy, it means you neither love him, nor believe in him. Read the second lesson. Second Bible lesson, John chapter 14 verse 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. Details on love, too. Our Lord Jesus Christ directed, Whoever has two coats should give one to him who does not have. He that had meat let him do likewise. Luke chapter 3 verse 11. Have you done that? Whatever you have which is double, you have to give one out to him who has none. If you do this, it means, you love him, otherwise the reverse is the case. It is said, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. Matthew chapter 5 verse 39. If you act negatively to this injunction, it means you neither believe nor love our Lord Jesus Christ. Furthermore, it is said, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you, Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. Your failure to comply positively with the above injunction declares you a rebel. It is written, be ye therefore perfect, even, as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. How can you be perfect even, as he is? Exercise absolute and ultimate love for all and sundry, and you will qualify for perfection. Those are his true instructions and injunctions. Any person therefore, who is not perfect does not believe in him, and does not love him. If you do not obey the instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ, how can you know or obey God the Father? You cannot even believe or love the Father. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. John chapter 14 verse 6. Whosoever loves the Son will equally love the Father, and the Father will also love him. Automatically, anyone who loves the Father will love all his brethren. Anyone who claims to love the Father, but hates his brethren is a liar. 
1 John chapter 4 verse 20. The commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ is very simple, and it gives you joy if you practice it. Beloved brethren, the works of God and that of the flesh are incompatible. You will discover that all along, you have been carrying a heavier burden, whereas God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, had taken away your burden. The work of the flesh is very difficult, whereas that of God is very simple and light. Immediately you obey his words, by loving one another, you are saved. This is comparable to lottery, where you throw in a few kogo and win thousands of naira. If you put in ten kogo to gain about one thousand naira, what have you lost? Similarly, if you love Christ our Lord, you will keep his words and the Father will love you, the Holy Spirit and the Father will dwell in you. Can you now see what you will gain with your little love? It is clear, in the entire world, God dwells only in brotherhood of the cross and star. This is as a result of the love, which is found therein. If the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit live in you, then you will not lack houses, money, clothes, brethren, wealth and power. What do you think will ever harm or threaten such a person whom God indwells? Where God Almighty dwells is holy, and no evil, temptation, darkness, confusion, segregation, limitation and the like can ever be found in such a place. You can't see the presence of God in any place, and in anything, sanctifies and strengthens such a place or thing. I do not need anything, either materially or spiritually from the world. I come that you may be transformed from imperfection and sinfulness, to a perfect and sinless nature, so, where I am, you also may be there. Love is reciprocal in nature. If you love someone and that person does not love you, it means, the love will be dried up, and die very soon. See the authority below. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you, continue ye in my love. John chapter 15 verse 9. Christ loved the Father and the Father loved him, because he abided by the Father's commandment. For that reason, he and the Father are one, and an indivisible entity. In one of the powerful statements of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is recorded, I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. John chapter 8 verse 18. From the time of Adam, to the era of our Lord Jesus Christ, only our Lord Jesus Christ loved God. That was, why the Father said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. The building of cathedrals, electrifying and equipping it with modern amenities, does not qualify one as a child of God. The situation does not rest on shouting the name of the Lambro Lambro -Bu. Love is not constituted of healing the sick, raising the dead and making the lame to walk. It is neither giving a lot of money to people, or training people in the university. He that keeps the commandments or instructions of our Lord Jesus Christ loves him, and therefore, loves the Father. Such a person must also love the entire world. Golden text, Romans chapter 13 verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. The freedom in love. To further explain this text, our Lord Jesus Christ said, He who loves him will abide by his words, and his Father will love the person, and he also will love such a person. You can't see, love does no evil against his neighbor. If you see any person who loves all people, do not ask any question, for such a person is God personified. Any place where there is lying, sighing, lamentation, fear, quarrel, backbiting, hatred, craftiness, stealing, anger, cheating and immorality, no, such a place is not the kingdom of God. Do not steal, tell lies and commit any sin, for this is the pathway to ungodliness. When you love, you are free. Your problem now is that you have seen the love, but you have decided not to embrace it, rather, you continue to wallow in evil and immorality. Whenever you leave 34 Endo Street, Caliper, you start behaving like worldly people and idolaters. The teachings of brotherhood are not expressed by you, in any way outside here. Love does not judge and has nothing to do with evil. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Everybody knows, the leader of brotherhood practices nothing but love. You have to emulate this love. Your behavior, at all times, must depict love of one another. You complain, your husband or parents have rejected you, because of brotherhood. That you are suffering for brotherhood, yet you have no love. How will you be rewarded, if they love you? In the entire world, nobody is ready to develop and express love, yet they all want love to do wonders for them. Is this not an exhibition of the craftiness of Satan? 
All you want is that, once your problem is solved, then you will disappear into the thin air.